Monsieur Chapman? Oui, monsieur. I challenge you to choose. <laughs> you have... We have a thousand pounds each to spend in Anderton's music company. Good. One of us can spend up to 250 on an amp and 750 on a guitar. Ooh. And the other has 250 to spend on the guitar and 750 to spend Ooh. on the amplifier. This shall be known as an updated, revisited version of is a cheap guitar Arrow in the knee. with expensive amp better than a cheap amp with an expensive guitar. Okay, uh, I would I have like... A, I have a coin here. Which one's heads? Uh, this, the one with the head is heads. Okay. And the one with the tails is tails. <laughs> okay. I will <laughs> toss the coin. What? Heads. Heads and you get to choose which yes. you want, right? Okay, just uh, for the camera. Confirm. Ready, steady. You're never going to see this in... Never going to see this in shot. Which camera, cameraman? Here we go. It is... Heads. Just I like saying. the way he moved it so that he Just couldn't saying. get a focus. Hey, look, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show him. Look, it's okay, a head. It's heads. It's always good to get head. Uh, and now I... <laughs> get a head, <laughs> yes. I think, was the uh, Sorry, phrase. Ahead. Correct, yes. Uh, Mella, so I think I would counterintuitively like to spend my 750 on the amplifier dun, 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 and you. my 250 on the guitar. Okay, well, I'm going to get myself uh, an average sounding guitar amplifier and a really cool guitar. Can we do, um, a, can we do a, a stall spin high five? Yeah. Oh, we're not... <laughs> Brilliant, let's try that again. Ready? Three, two... Right, Monsieur Robert. Ah, Monsieur Capitan. Remind me again, I lost the toy and cost, so I've got to buy an expensive guitar and a cheap amplifier, right? You have. Okay, <laughs> well, it could be worse. Um, buying an expensive guitar, I have filtered the Anderton's website here uh, to show me all the electric guitars that are in stock in that kind of price bracket. So I'm just having, you know, I've had a quick swizz through this already, and I'm kind of feeling like I just need to max out the full 750. And, without telling Rob what they are, there are some guitars here that you can see for 750, uh, specifically uh, the three that are the same but in different colours here. I'm trying not to give anything away. Yeah. Now, if I'm honest with you, <laughs> the one I'm about to click is probably not the one I would buy if it were me, but it is the one I think for video going to be the one I want. So I'm going to have one of these guitars, everybody for my 750, and I'm very happy with that because that is a very, very nice guitar. Mr. Rob, would you like to tell people what you're going to spend your 750 on? Well, um, <clears throat> I, I've won the toss, which is an infrequent thing for me. Wow, this is true. Wow, I'm know. very excited. Some would say that you are an extremely capable tosser. Some would say <laughs> that I've thought about this already and have chosen a beautiful amplifier. Uh, actually, a little bit under budget, just going to put that money away for a rainy day. Wow. And I wanted something that was kind of, you know, classic and did that beautiful British crunch. And, um, and did, you know, did cleans. Not that I'm going to use them, but had that availability should one require it. And also, I'm going to experiment with a brand that I have never tried before. That's a risk, isn't it? Well, you know what, Lee? The best things in life are worth risking. Wish I had that a better. phrase, yes, yeah. that well-known phrase. The risking best things in is life are worth risking. Good when All right. you think it's good. So, okay. so I've got a thing, and I'm uh, yeah, it's good. So you're happy, okay? So the two fifty side of it, I've got to buy an amp for two fifty. Now, again, I have filtered the Anderton's website to show me amps specifically combos, and uh, I did have a quick look at what valve combos I could get for this money. And apart from little five watty jobbies, which I didn't really want, I couldn't get anything. So here are some amplifiers. This uh, particular sort of bottom middle one is a bit misleading here. We've used a very small image of an amp that's actually quite a bit bigger than that. But I've got to be honest with you... Did you, sorry, did you say bottom leading? Uh, bottom middle, I think I a said. Bottom I apo okay. apologise. I mean... I mean, apart from maybe the one in the middle at the top here, uh, which would not be the one. I mean, all the rest of these five could do a job. One's over budget, so I can't have that one. But let's be honest with you, me plus thousands of the rest of you, it's a bit of a no-brainer, this one, isn't it? I'm just going to have to see how we get on with one of these. Monsieur Rob, what are you spending your two... What, well, what kind of axe can you get for 250? <laughs> Um, what kind of axe can't I get for 250? I mean, you know, I'm looking at so many be beautiful things, but actually, you know, a, a lot of you would think I would go for something with a letter 
you know, that, that maybe came after E. But, you know, maybe I'm not that guy right now. Maybe you're not that guy. Maybe I'm a different kind of guy, maybe thinking back guy. to when I was a young man, struggling. Young man. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling to save my pennies that I used to make in pocket money. Whenever I pick up apples from my garden floor, they put a tick on a chalkboard and that got me 20p. 20p for yeah, an apple? Is it a dispensive apple? I don't know, like anyway. a bucket of apples. Okay. Or I'd lay the table. Pocket money. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go F. I'm going to go with a different letter. Something that I have fond memories of as a child. And uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's beautiful. Well, wow. it's exactly in budget, save one pound. Of well done. Currency. Well done, Mr. Rob. Well, look, I think um, what we should do is um, click our fingers, slap our hands, do a magic clap. Are we doing, are we doing the twisty clap? Dance, magic, dance. Go. Uh, uh. Monsieur Rob! Monsieur Why am I so French in these videos? I just don't know. Anyway, should we demask and see what we chose? I feel like seeing would be beneficial. I agree. <laughs> Thank so, you. Oh. <laughs> you had the budget to spend on an amp and not a lot to spend on the guitar. Mm. And you know what? I am, uh, I am, what, what's like flip reverse? I'm surprised you managed to get that for the budget. Mm. And I'm surprised you decided to get that with the budget that you had. I'm surprised that we've swapped rigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've gone kind of vintage and I've gone kind of modern. So, well, I thought I've never right. tried the Delta King. I've never tried a Supro, really. And I love Yamaha guitars. First few guitars were Yamahas and they never let you down. So I thought, why not, you know, just super, super. Now, Pete and I did a video review on these uh, fairly recently, which of course you can go and watch up in the corner if you want to. And if I remember rightly, that amp is about 600 quid, meaning that you've gone well under your thousand pound budget. I, I feel bad. Yeah. Why did you, why, why? Well, because when I look, I wanted a combo. Yeah. And when I was looking at combos, ladies and gentlemen, I thought, this just looks mint. <laughs> so you just bought with your eyes. No, and also it's something I'd never tried before and I wanted to try it. And so when I looked at apps that were even 50, 100 quid more, I just really wanted to try that instead. So I thought, you yeah, know what? No, look, I'm under well, budget, that's fine. I, I, I'm going to do two things then. I'm going to use my, um, judge's prerogative here and say uh, have a pedal in you got okay uh, you got about 150 quid to spare so if you want to pedal you take yourself a pedal 150 imperial credits yep. of the realm uh, and, I'm, and whilst you're choosing a pedal i'm just thinking you know what else could rob have got in fact why don't you guys comment below what do you think rob should have got he had up to 750 pounds to spend he could have mm. got maybe a could you've got a fender hot rod deluxe or i could have than that now well, no i could have got uh, the, the junior but, but I'm, oh yeah junior's not dissimilar to that what about like a, a dsl 40 or a black star hd i did look at the dsl 40 yeah but i kind of thought i've, I've played a lot of marshalls mm. i i do love the dsl but Never tried a Supra, and it reminds me of my old PV Delta Blues. Remember well, those? I do remember those. Slightly different kind of amp, but yeah, visually but maybe. Similar vibe. Similar. And then, how beautiful is this? You know what? The Understated. Pacifica 112 started that whole revolution of cheap guitars being good. Mm. And I'm talking like 30, 25 years ago, maybe. Um, and although it's not as cheap as it used to be, the 112. There's now an 012, which sits underneath it. I'm surprised that that's still 249. I thought they'd gone up way more than that. And you know, it's, so, not, just, it's not just a Pacifica. It's a Yamaha guitar development Pacifica. It's well, a bit like Schecter YGD, Guitar Research. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you know what? What is not to like about that? We, we, we did a, a cool video recently on a new Ibanez AZ Essential series, AZES, and I was kind of feeling like maybe that had sort of taken the Yamaha crown, but I'm feeling a shootout uh, coming I between those two guitars, because that's a lot of guitar for is the Is this dough. Alder? It looks like Alder, um, doesn't it? I don't know. I didn't Isn't do the research. a supermarket where you buy cheap things from? Maple and, <laughs> Maple um, and Alder. Can I have a tube screamer then? Uh, yes. Is yeah, right? if you, you look, I mean, take the bonsai. I don't think we've got a, well, no, you've got an 808 there or the bonsai, but you want it, I mean, if you like the more modern tube screamers, take the bonsai. Strictly speaking, that's a little bit more than 150 pounds, but as you are only using one Oh, what, TS9? It, yeah, and it's got a TS9 there. in it. Yeah, as that, as you're only using one, we'll, we'll accept that that's Oz, what it is. Oz, can you get me a little patchy lead? Okay, right. okay. So, hold on, can I just see how it sounds? Because I haven't tried it with the TS9. Go on, then. Go on. So, um...
Let's be honest, Lee. I've already won. Uh, it's good. It's a, it's, it's a different kind of tone. It's, it's, for me, it's a little bit more angry amp in a box, maybe, than the sort of the smooth saturation that you'd normally go for. But yeah. hey, it's good sound. Anyway, right. I have somewhat predictably gone for a Boss Katana 50 Mark II. It's very difficult down I wouldn't that... have predicted you'd do that. Really? No. Sorry to interrupt. There's a, there's a hundred. You wanted a hundred. I didn't want a hundred, and I can't afford a hundred, so... But that was... Ah, uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that Lee's amp shrunk all over by an inch. Because... <laughs> These things happen. <laughs> Although he thought it was... Yes! Like... It was a 50 watt, it was actually a 100 watt by accident. It's easily done. Yeah. But fortunately, before I started playing, uh, Pete spotted that it wasn't, in fact, a 50, it was a 100. So, of course, we quickly ran and changed it for the 50. So my rig now is a cheap amp and an expensive guitar. So, um, I went for the Boss Katana 50, as I was saying. It's, without doubt, of the last five years, the biggest selling amplifier in that price bracket. And... You know, there will be an army of fans out there going, good choice, Lee, good choice, Lee. I still kind of feel like up against a valve amplifier, I'm going to get slightly exposed here, um, but it's the best I could do. What I did manage to walk away with, though, of course, was a guitar that was £750, so nice. three times the price of Rob's guitar. Yes, um, uh, pink I chose for effect if I was going to own this myself there's a blue one I would probably have had but I thought pink would be fun for the video um, it is the PRS Custom 24 SE Custom 24 is, is you know the first guitar that Paul made um, back in 1985 it's probably been the most popular guitar in the range ever since 24 frets two humbuckers uh, three way blade here but with a coil tap so I've got kind of six different tones if and I want that them. one made? This will be an Indonesian one, yeah, Indonesian. Um, trem system, nice tuners, all that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously, I've got tons of different tones in the amplifier, but I've set it to a sort of a low gain crunch tone. Um, happier now I'm feeling a little bit like you know there is some upside of spending more money on the guitar yeah. um, so look we're gonna kind of jam a bit you can get an idea and then maybe we'll swap or something and sure. just go what, what do you think so the, the objective of this was if you had a thousand pounds do you go expensive guitar cheap amp which I actually think is what most people do right or do you go expensive amp cheap guitar which I think less people would do, but I would argue if you want a gig is a better choice. Yeah. I guess what we've not done here is like a 50-50 thing. What if we spent 500 on each? Maybe that's the that's most That's the next video, thing. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> Monsieur Robert, okay, do you so want to play some chords? And I do. I also want to say that nowadays there are some great guitars for cheap money. So it made this much easier than, you know. The other thing is these are both made, I think, and I only think this, in the same factory. Well, I know these are made in the Cortec mm -hmm. factory. You think, yeah, I thought Yamaha had their own factory. I don't, I don't, I'm just saying, yeah, I think, I, I don't know. I think we're, Yamaha sure. of all the brands But both do... made in the same country. What about a bit of blue on black, you know? Uh...
the whole thing. Swap the whole thing. Okay, Rob and I have swapped the whole thing. Um, do you want me to do your tube screen, Rob? Instantly feel like you know the lack, the, the fact you can feel the neck on this is it doesn't have the rolled edges, it feels a little bit more affordable. But of course, the amp is way fatter sounding. What do you think of my rig? Well, I was going to ask, did you want your tube screen? Ah, because, whatever, I don't you know, mind. You've got that option yeah. if you want it, Leah Kane. guitar but the amp's not giving it you know the, the balls that I think, it needs. I think that sounds like you. Mm. As they say in Malta, memsh bide. What does that even mean? No balls. Uh, but I think it um, sounds like, I think that and that sounds more like you it, than that and that. If I tweaked the settings I could get it to sound more like how people mm. would expect me to sound. Yeah. But I, I think I spent two years away playing blues rock and now I'm a lot more like this. Well there you are. Uh, your choice, really, I guess, isn't it? As you know, have we sort of convinced you one way or the other, can I, can or I, neither? Can I try this through that? Amp? Yeah, of course. That, that... Just, I'm curious to see what the Supra is like with modern. So now you've got a, you've got like a thirteen hundred pound rig versus my not even five hundred pound. Yeah, I just want to. <laughs> Get them both, and it's, then uh, it's a big, uh, yeah, it's that's a big difference. So, okay, also, so what, what a rig! Proved? Look at that rig. Oh. Let me. So what happens is you put a cheaper guitar through a cheap amplifier, it sounds worse. You put a dearer guitar through a dearer amp, it sounds better. That's a wow. surprise. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You see, they don't call this the most informative gear review channel on YouTube for nothing. You are welcome. Yes. Anyway, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'm sure we shall see you in another video soon. Au revoir. Bye.